What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here, Cheesehead TV. I am joined by a celebrity, Packers fan, Nick Vial, uh, famous for many things, mostly for being on The Bachelor. Although, what did yeah. you call yourself when when, you, when we talked earlier? A failed reality I, I, star? I don't think that's I, very fair to yourself, sir. I, I, I jokingly say reality TV reject, but it's... Uh... <laughs> Hardly you know, a reject. That's re that's reality TV. You know, everyone's a bit of a reject uh, out there. Please, I mean, so. we're all living in that world. We're all on reality television. Come on, with social uh, media, what have you? So, yeah, Bob, I mean, well, you're a big fan of the Packers. You're a big fan of the Packers draft. I can tell. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I, listen, I got, I gotta say, I, I appreciate, I appreciate your tone. You're you're definitely the voice of reason for a lot of Packer fans. You have the right approach for sure. Which is basically oh, like, lad. we all have opinions. None of us know what the fuck's going on. Let's Fair. just wait and see. That's absolutely right. But like, I've I've, I've gone through However. I've gone through different moments. I've I've gone through different I've I've gone through different feelings. Right. Right. When they drafted Jor uh, Jordan Love, my first reaction was, they did they actually fuck like really that that actually <laughs> happened? Right. Like no way. You know like. So first, I'm pissed, right? Because it's like there are well, definitely you know phases you know, that you have to go through. Then, sure. then I remind myself, being like, "Hey, listen, I was pissed." Like actually, when they drafted Aaron Rodgers, I, I wanted it. You know, I was like, "You got it, you got to take him," <laughs> right? Uh, because he fell, right? It was a little bit different. But then I kind of remind myself, like, "Hey, like it's, it's the quarterback position." I, you know, I'm not a patient person. It's bad enough having to wait for your first round draft pick, whatever position they play, to like, <laughs> right. get on the field. Now sure. I gotta wait like two or three years. But like, hey, if he's the guy, like this will be a great. How pick. much? How much is it? I'm, I'm obviously this isn't the driver, but how annoying is it that you know because he's not going to hit the field for a couple years that you've got to take shit from other fan bases for like a year or yeah. two. Like not yeah, only that's... online, but like when you see them in life, your buddies are gonna like give you crap. Yeah, like my buddies are like uh, I got two bi two to my friends, Chiefs fan, New England Patriots fan, obviously. Oh, like no, you know. the worst. Yeah, so they got the Mahomes thing, but you know they're they're knowledgeable sports fans, and it's just it's just one of those things. And the truth is, like I love Aaron Rodgers, I love uh, Brett Favre, but my loyalty is to the Packers. So there the you like, go. If, you talk if about getting it right. Told, that is correct. Yeah, there you go. If someone told me. The Packers are going to win one Super Bowl in five years. If if I had to pick, I would be like, yes, let's give Aaron Rodgers one more. But at the end of the day, I really don't give a shit who the quarterback is. I really don't. Like, right. it's like if I have to pick, I guess let's get Aaron one more. But I don't. <laughs> right. I I don't really care. So like, I. But at the same time, now that as the reports go on, like today there seems to be a lot of stuff oh, out boy. there. Like they 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 you know like. I want to believe that, like, Gudekinst is just like, no, loves the man. We're going to, like, right. he's going to be the man. And, like, then I'm for it. But, like, if they actually traded up for the receiver only to get, like, shafted by San Francisco who traded up ahead of them, and they're like, well, I guess we'll take love now. Like, we kind of like them. Then I'm like, ugh. Don't buy that for a second. They ain't move making that move and then making that pick. A pick that, you know – there is a very good chance that if it doesn't work out, that's their jobs. You know, like that. Yeah. There, it's it's not that ad hoc. There's no way. There's no question. Okay. So wait, right. that, that, where are you on? Where are you on the idea of playing a lot more? I don't want to say Smash Mouth, but a lot of two tight end close formations. Stop letting Aaron throw it all over the yard and run the ball more. I mean, listen. Like when it, when the, when the draft was going on, I was definitely like. Uh, I was DMing Mike <laughs> Mike Penner of Pro Football Forecast, and sure, he was like, sure. shit. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, <laughs> it's like they're never going to pass the ball again. Oh but like, God. cooler heads prevailed in my mind. And again, I, I I don't really care what their team looks like as long as they're scoring points. Sure. I don't care. I just want them to be good. There's something really awesome about a football team like invoking their will and doing it with success. Like, I think that's the coolest way to win, whatever that is. Sure. Uh, I, it's just more like the only thing I like. The, I didn't have a problem with the love pick because, like, mm -hmm. if it doesn't work out, that sucks. I don't care about your floor. I don't like. Sure. If what's if, the if ceiling? Love, Where can you go? What's the right. ceiling? Like, because because the truth is, like, if 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 Jordan Love sits the bench for two or three years and he ends up being Andy Dalton, I'm not thrilled. Right? Like, that's not <laughs> something you want. No offense to Andy Dalton. No, no, I hear you. Average I hear quarterback. You. 
Right. So like, I don't care if Jordan, if Jordan Love ends up being like a below third quarterback, like that was sure. a failed pick. But if he ends up being close to Patrick Mahomes, I'm for it. And I do now, like, I like the. But the idea, though, I mean, if he is only at a certain level, whatever your parameters are, and he helps guide them to a Super Bowl, does it matter? Well, no, well you're right. If they win, I mean, on basis of you know? the idea that you need a good quarterback to win a Super Bowl, well, well, you're course, right. If, right, naturally. If, I'll take Andy Dalton tomorrow if we win a Super Bowl. I mean, it, like, all I, he has to do is be Jimmy Garoppolo plus, you know? Like, you got yeah, Apple plus, uh, you know, maybe Jimmy Garoppolo plus. And if he's and if, only that. If That's Jimmy G could throw a can throw a pass, they would have won the Super Bowl. Ooh, like doggy. Dude, what, that dude was wide open. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't like I don't I don't I don't really really care about that. But like so I, I like the fact that like it seems like Jordan Love has the highest ceiling of all the quarterbacks, right? No like you know what you know what I'm really glad the you know what I'm really glad the Packers didn't do? Like draft that Herbert guy. Because I, I see that Herbert guy, like, how many times every draft is, like, oh the, the tall, frat boy-looking white guy who's, yep. like, the third or fourth, like, best quarterback best by quarterback, the pundits. Right. And he goes, like, 10 or 15, and he always sucks. Ponder <laughs> from Minnesota. Right. Like, it's always, like, a Blake shirt. Blake Bortles like, back in the day. Like, like yeah, Blake yeah. Bortles, like, yep. like, it's, like, he kind of looks like a quarterback. He looks so the part. Him. Exactly. Yeah, like I'm glad that we took love out of all those other guys, and he has a higher like, uh, what, like uh, what's his name for the Bengals? Number one, yeah, he'll Joe probably Burrow. Be, yeah, he'll probably be pretty good. And they people are like, well, he could be Tom Brady. Well, Tom Brady's not Tom Brady if he plays for uh, the Bengals for 20 years and yeah. has to play right away. I mean, people forget and he started on the bench. Right. You know, so, so I don't have a problem with Jordan Love. I'm I'm more like. It, it just seems like how do you take a backup running back and a maybe a fullback slash tight end slash uh, now he's a receiver based off Matt Lafleur in the third round? He absolutely is. That's people got to get off the Deguera thing because that kid is going to be a weapon. Like you can call him whatever you want. And I saw lots of people giving him grief about being a fullback. Well, they took a H back in the third round. Man, his ceiling is Travis Kelsey. Give me that all day, every day, and that right, is that's- fine with me. And if you know? he ends up being like the chain mover, like that Edelman is, great. I don't care. Like you, who cares you know, what position? Edelman, call him whatever. Edelman, call him broccoli. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Listen, Edelman was like a seventh round pick. Like yes. if you do the draft again, he's a first round pick. You know, like the guy's a potential, arguably maybe a Hall of Famer. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like he's All certainly right. worth slow down on that. But yes, he is very talented and certainly helped them win championships. There's no doubt. Yeah, about and the that. Packers. Definitely need someone who can consistently move the change. Like we, that's I think we've been lacking. Other than like, uh, other than uh, Adams, like he's just awesome. But right. like, if you're covering him, who's who's your like, who's your chain mover? Like who's getting it? So like, I think Alan Lazard's going to surprise you this year, sir. I think you're really going to be pleasantly surprised. He certainly came on at the end of the year. I, I do. Where, what? What? Are you? And it sounds like you're kind of on the EQ bandwagon. I love what EQ. makes you believe? I love Why? his upside. I think he. He approaches the game the right way. He does the little things right. If you watch, I mean, this is the nerd I am. If you go back and watch the game tape from that rookie season, just the way he gets in and out of breaks, his attention to detail, his willingness as a blocker, that's going to get him on the field and give him opportunities. Where we saw MVS, he is talented. He's got upside. But, man, did he lose his confidence down the road last year. And I think EQ coming into a camp battle slash situation where he's got to put up or shut up and lose playing time, between the two of them, give me EQ. What What do you – am I reading too much into it to say if the Packers believed in him that much, why did they IR him for an entire year when they were like, saving, he probably could A hundred percent. They were saving him from himself. A lot of people ask that question because they did put him on IR prior to the 53-man roster being constructed, yeah. which ended his season. I know it got leaked to Adam Sheff or not Schefter, it was Rappaport, that, oh, he only had a high ankle sprain. And there was a good possibility that he could return during the season. I think that was an attempt by his people, his agent, marketing people, etc. To try and put pressure on the Packers publicly. And Gutekunst wasn't having it. Basically said, especially at high, the high ankle sprain is famously, it's notorious for guys come back too quickly. They re-injure it and it becomes even a bigger problem. I mean, it ruined. And Gutekunst just said, uh, yeah, I mean, it ruined Devontae Adams' sophomore year. Like, That's a big time. We, I mean, everyone I was that. like, everyone yeah, wanted I was him like, cut. Oh. Yeah, I, I, 
right here. I was like, he sucks. <laughs> he's like, you know, and now he's now he's maybe the top three best receiver in, in the league. Just um, a little patience is all we ask. A little bit uh, of patience. I, I got the patience. It's just more like, and I want them. I want and there's. I want nothing more than the like Gutekinds and Matt Lafleur to have two thumbs up like, <laughs> for all the pundits. Like nothing would make oh. me happier. It's just more like I. I'm not like. I'm not one of these like pro football focused like stands. Like they don't right. get it right all the time. They sure. were super high on Josh Jackson. Like we, we, you know, mm-hmm. we haven't seen anything, yep. anything there. But I do like there's. The, the economics, it's more like, you know, like when I you... I get that. I get that. Regardless the idea of, of letting the rookie QB sit, you mean? Well, not, not not even that because that's just a quarter. I have no problem with that. But it's more the, the running back and the, you know... Oh, the right. The, 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 the perceived game, value. Like, right. The, co- yeah, the cost of replacement value. If those guys are DNs or linebackers or receivers and they hit, you're safe, like, or left tackles, like... What's sure. his name? Tunso signed a twenty-two million dollar deal. I mean, God, that he really fucked us from resigning uh, Bakhtiari. <laughs> right. You know, but like, even if these guys are awesome, like they may not even get to their like their second year the deal second because contract, they have. Right. And it's kind of like you know they better hit because otherwise yeah, it's time. like you know how can like how do we replace Bakhtiari? If he if he wants twenty five million dollars, well, that's they did just take three offensive linemen. One of whom has pretty extensive experience playing tackle. Not that he projects to playing tackle in the NFL, but these are the things. You know, you put it in the mix, and that was the whole reason, remember, back in the day when they traded they traded up for Jason Spriggs because they might lose yeah. David Bakhtiari. Thank God was, they didn't have to rely on Spriggs. Gross. <laughs> but, yeah, that was gross. What, um, do you, what are you going to do? What are your, do you, uh, who, uh, who do you like the most this draft uh, in terms of who's going to make the biggest impact? Yeah, like who do you think is going to make the – who, uh, two two questions. Who's going to make the most immediate impact, and right. who do you think is minus love, minus love? Because that's sure, just a whole sure. other oh, yeah. thing. Yep. But minus love, who do you think is going to be the initial initial impact, and like who has the most chances of being a long term, like uh, you know, six six year solid career sure. Packer Hall of Famer? Uh, I, give me John Runyon for both of those. I, I think he's going to eventually win the right guard job. Probably outright in camp. Maybe it'll take like getting into the season, kind of like we saw with Jenkins and Lane Taylor last year. But I think Runyon has the upside slash measurables slash it projects. At least when I look at it, he could step in at right guard right now, and I think think he would. I yes, and I think he would be an upgrade over uh, uh, Turner. But that's our right tackle. Entirely guesswork on my part. Oh, they'll they'll put Wagner out there. You know, so? okay. maybe, maybe they try and kick Turner out. I doubt it, though. They signed Rick Wagner for a reason. He's there to bridge the gap, so to speak, after Bulaga. But, yeah, I think it'll be Wagner. I think the battle will come down to right guard. And it's going to be fun to watch. Is it, uh, do you think the all the, the pundits, and I, I was reading something today about, like, this is a power move by the Packers? What oh, do you think? don't pay attention Bullshit? to all that. Oh, just, I think it's bullshit. That's just stuff that people got to get out there because Lord knows we're all in quarantine and we all got tons of time on our hands. It's always like this, but during quarantine and coronavirus and what have you, we're all just, we're exponentially worse about having to feed this 24 hour news cycle machine. Uh, so things like, oh, an AFC scout said this. Who gives a shit what an AFC scout says? Like, a yeah. power move by the Packers. Please, you really think Brian Gutekunst, in the face of trying to keep his job, in the midst of a five-year contract, is like, well, you know what I can do right now? Is show Aaron Rodgers who's boss. No. Yeah. He's like, trying to I, make I, sure he gets a second contract. No, I agree with you. And I don't think he did that. And if he did, he should be fired. But right. I don't <laughs> exactly. Think, like, uh, but I don't think that's it. I don't do think Mark think Murphy that, would let him. Yeah, do you think Rodgers was, like... Do you think he's going to do the whole, uh, you know, competitive aspect? Like he's the Brett be a Favre player. thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, but like no, Brett Favre is a baby about it. Like I, you know, I'm a, I'm yeah. back on the Brett Favre, but like I was really mad at Brett Favre at the time. It's just yeah, like again, different scenarios. Like Brett Very Favre different. held. The, I hear you. He, he no. held the franchise hostage. Uh, Aaron Rodgers has not done that. He's made it very clear his intentions. Yeah. Uh, very different that way. But like. Do you think Rodgers is going to be a professional, regardless if he's happy or not, and then use this as motivation? Or do you think he's going to be the baby that some of his critics suggest that he might be? Oh, 100% the first option. He will be the mentor that Favre never was to him. 
He will be a complete professional about it. I have zero doubt that along the way, over the next two years, we will get some passive-aggressive nonsense from here, uh, here and there from time to time, just because that's Aaron Rodgers and that's his nature. I also think he's going to put a lot of people in their place. He's going to shut a lot of people up. He's going to ball out in this offense, and he's going to have the last word. Because if we've no- learned nothing else about Aaron Rodgers throughout his career, is that it is very, very rare where the critics are right and he is wrong. That, yeah. that, well, that just I, doesn't happen. Jen, Jen Latta, a friend of mine. Um, do you know Jen? I know Jen. Oh, Jen and I go yeah. way back. She, she tweeted uh, when he was drafted that Aaron Rodgers is not going to let the media uh, be able to call him a hypocrite. And I think that's a, that's one of the, that's on. a great take. It doesn't matter. Like, even if he's super pissed, he, he's so he's self-aware enough to know. Right. Like, well, I'm going to... Uh, yeah. Someone said today, do, do you think uh, Brett burned a bridge with that radio interview with Eisen yesterday? I was like, no. Brett and Aaron both know exactly what they're doing. Like, there yeah. is no surprise for either of them in this scenario. They, they know. They know how to play but the also, media. I, they know what's going to happen I, when they speak. Yeah. You know. I do, but it is just self-serving on Brett. Well, what do you expect Brett Favre to say? <laughs> like, he was a baby about it. He's <laughs> right. going to defend his actions. He's going right. to be like... I was pissed then. This I is the Aaron message they're then. sending to Aaron because it's yeah. clearly the message they were sending to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a totally I don't expect my farm to be like, you know what? Right. Now that I right. think about <laughs> it, you know? well, I was a total baby about it. Yeah, I was Nick, a total brat. Nick, yeah. I can't thank you enough for uh, taking a few minutes to sit down and talk some Packers with me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Time. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's nice to be able to talk uh, sports rather than relationships and dating. So, I mean, if you uh, guys don't know, check out Nick's podcast. He does talk about relationships, dating, what have you. Uh, <laughs> definitely don't want to come to this channel for that because Lord yeah. knows I'm a disaster in that department. But maybe I'll, uh, I'll have to start. I'll have to start listening to your yeah. podcast a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, those who, you know, coaches don't play. Yeah. <laughs> Very good point. Nick, can't uh, thank you uh, enough for joining me. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, take care. Bye-bye.